Okay, now, I've done a lot of feet videos, and I was kind of sitting here going, oh, do I really want to do feet again? However, this dog has got the perfect oval Springer foot. And I realize I haven't shown you that. I showed you Kira, the perfect round foot. But this dog truly and honestly does have the most gorgeous Springer feet, along with Kira, but they are oval. So here is the pad again. Remember, it's just that little stop. It's that little Y part, frog in and out, and we're done. Don't go in there digging. Now, this is what I showed you guys the other day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you guys see the one on taking wide, flat, ugly Springer feet and making it a show foot? That's one of my best. And the two pictures on the live feed and uh, widescreen, that is the same foot. The big, ugly, flat to this perfect little show foot. So, haha. Uh -huh. All right. So, since this dog has really perfect feet like Kira does, we're not going to leave all this extra feathering like we did on Noah the other day. Don't need to. So, as I was saying, because his bone structure and his foot is so perfect, all I need to do is take the hair away so the judge can see the foot as it naturally is. Uh, so you can see the oval shape of this foot versus Kira's round foot. And like I said before, I do not have a preference. Right. As long as they can, oh, I didn't want to show you this. So here's that trick again. And I have it at its shortest setting, whatever that is. I'm not going to get locked into numbers. And I'm going to take the foot. And come up, and come up. Okay. Now, this is right from here, straight up. Right from here, straight up. Now, I'm not taking as much off of this dog as I did Noah, because I don't have to. Here, straight up. This dog already has a foot. I mean, Helen Keller could put her finger here and run it down and feel no difference, no transition between the bone of this dog into the foot. I mean, to me, that's ideal. The dog I did the other day to do corrective grooming. Had to take a lot off. All right, so, from the side, then there's, there's the pad. Go straight up, straight up. And again, on this dog, it's gonna be hardly anything, because there's the bone, it matches. And, um, no way the other day, whoo, had to take a whole lot off. And again, all praises and glories to his owner. His nails are back very nicely. Thank you, Neil. Okay. Now, I always say, don't pick up the foot and do this. And it's kind of like, do what I say, don't do what I do. Well, because this dog's feet are, are perfect, number one, and because I have groomed him, every single groom for his entire life, right? I, I co-own this dog, I mean, he's mine, and Neil's together. So, I mean, I know this dog, so yes, I can pick up that foot and do some trimming off the mat. Now, here is that little trick. We can get in there, okay. Here's the toenail. So I'm gonna take this hair, and I'm going to push it off the side of that nail. I have no idea what you guys can see. And until I go back and see these tapes, I have no idea what you're... That's it. So there's the nail. I'm going to push the hair off, and I'm holding it down. And I'm just taking that off. That's it. Same thing here. I'm going to go this way. And just take that off. This way. Take that off. Probably should have done his nails before I started this, but 
I will do them after he's groomed. Stop, stop, stop. Yep, well, most of them don't like their feet fooled with. Got that little bit in there. I'm not taking all this off, guys. God, don't do that. I'm just going in here and taking that little corner off that I'm rolling off the top. Here for sure. There's your pastern straight up. Okay, here's your pastern straight up. Somebody sent me a message yesterday saying that they're seeing lots and lots and lots of very poor pasterns on Springers these days. It's Sorry to hear that. It's typically not been a problem. Now, this here makes a D. A D for Debbie. So you just clean out that little D. And you want this to be straight up. And this dog has gorgeous pasterns to die for. See? You want a straight pastern. And again, when we do the breed standard, we'll go through all that. Uh, the main reason to have a straight, strong pastern is because that's what carries the weight of the dog. The impact of the foot to the ground to the heavy bird they are carrying back to the hunter so we can have dinner. And if that pastern is not straight, then that dog is going to tire, get very tired when it's hunting. And over time, its elbows will break down. The whole dog will just break down on the front end if those pasterns aren't straight. It just will. You know, if it's hopping on and off your lap and onto the couch, it doesn't much matter. But again, we are judging this breed as a hunting dog. So if I were judging Springer Spaniels in the ring, I want to see a dog that can be taken out and hunted for the whole day and not get exhausted and have a good time with me. And since I'm one of the extremely lucky and rare people to have been able to take it the past 45 years with my show dogs and work all of them in the field, I understand how important that breed standard is because that breed standard makes a hunting dog. Does not make a show dog. Makes a hunting dog that we just happen to show. Oh. I can't tell what's happening with that camera. All right. So you can see on him, I've exposed the nail a little bit, which is perfectly fine. Um, I didn't Dremel him before I did this, so really if I Dremeled him at this point, most of that would go away. And if it didn't, who cares? If you go in and watch my How to Work the Toenails Back tape on the YouTube channel, you will see how quick and easy you can get that nail back anyway. But like I said, this dog has, there's that little corner. There's that little corner. This dog has perfect oval springer feet. Now, you can see how tight they are. How tight they are. It's a nice oval shape. Okay, The bone goes directly into the foot. It's not got that big, wide, ugly thing happening there you go there you go and 
lots and look at all this that's not I, I took this hair and matched it with the hair that was already there all this feathering that was up between the toes all I did was match it with the real hair on the toes because again his feet are perfect so all I did was take away the hair that was in the way so that the judge could see the natural structure of the foot because his foot is perfect no corrective grooming but you can see this high 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 arch here that's wonderful that's a Kira foot in oval, which is so cool. All right, so there you go. Now while we're here, of course this is ugly, so let's get this off. Ah! Okay, just, I'm, done. I'm doing exactly what I did on the other side and just taking the pastern line straight up. And maybe one more thing on this segment. And then we'll cut off to the next segment. Okay, well, we don't want them tripping all over their own hair, do we? And we let these dogs grow out, and they will. So, okay, calm it all down. And then just take your scissor straight across. Now, this is something that's a personal thing, whether you want this line to be straight across. Which I will do first on him. Straight across. Or whether you want it up at an angle. I mean, we've seen people show it and do it and trim it both ways. I, I don't, I don't care. I don't think it matters. Um, I don't like a lot of pet trimming on a show springer. So for me, I don't want to go for this real severe angled look. That to me is natural. The dog's not tripping on the hair. That is perfectly fine for me. So that's it. Now, I'm going to turn off this segment and then turn it back on and keep going because this is going to take me all day. So both cameras. I will see both of you back very shortly and very soon. Okay, bye-bye.